Okay, another quick overview on the mouse build so far. So this is the, the main drive. It's chunky and it's heavy, absolutely. Um, what you've got is you've got a scooter motor as a main drive, which is over the top, absolutely. Um, I put it in the middle so it gives you a good bit centre of gravity in there. And then what I'll probably do is I might put the motors on pan yards at the side as they fit. Um, you've got a planetary gearbox in there, which is about four to one uh, reduction on there. Then you've got a beveled gear, which drives this as the main drive unit. So if you look underneath there, that then drives that box, which is the slip, the differential drive. So I don't know if you can see if I turn one wheel one way, the other wheel goes that way. But when the wheel's engaged, it will drive forward backward. Um, then towards the front, uh, you've got your Ackerman steering. So as I think as people who know these things go, the wheels have to go at slightly different angles because as it, as it turns in a circle, um, you'll find that it goes at different things. So you've got, you've got a 45 degree angle on this side and whatever it equates to on the, on the outer rim, which gives you a reasonable sort of turning circle. The steering mechanism is done off this gear here at the front and there'll be a circle at the front that just drives that. Um, so if I just take that plate out and show you. Inside there, all oh, you've really got a simple mechanism that just does this for the drive. Um, what I've also done is split the tyres, not the tyres, I split the wheels, put that back in. I split the wheels uh, into two parts so we don't have to try and force one on. So the, the two part wheel that bolt together and then they just um, hook on, they just bolt on from the inside. Everything's got bearings on it, so it's quite robust and solid. Um, there is a, I've put these at the front here to give a little bit of bounce, just to give a um, tiny, tiny bit of suspension, but you don't need too much at all. Um, so they, they roll up quite freely. So what you'd have then is your basic steering mechanism like that. And obviously you drive here uh, ridiculously thick tyres at the back, um, predominantly because I'm using this motor um, and I'm uh, using printed for tyres, so we'll see what the grip's like, um, but it's definitely will have a oodles of power. Um, and then if we go into the battery box, into here, what well, battery box, but in here, what we've got is there's a load of little loops in there that allow you to put cable ties or cables. Because I'm designing these things, I'm not quite sure how they're going to work out. This tray, which is the fits through a hole around there, doesn't it? Is a servo tray, so effectively that comes through your servo mounts there. Um, and then you can run your cables back into this area here, and then you can tighten all your cables up here. You might get speed control in there, depending on what sort of speed control you use, but you still get your RC stuff if you wanted. Um, and then my plan is I've also put some holes on the side here so I can put some side pans on there, which might hold batteries or whatever. Um, there's also a mounting points so across the top here for sound or however you want to kind of mount those. Um, and then you've got front and back, there's a, uh, a bracket here which is used to mount the main shell of the mouse and a bracket there at, the, at that side so you, you, your mouse will be mounted between those two brackets. Um, and that's pretty much the drive to be honest.